The Blue Air Dust Magnet is a Wi-Fi connected air purifier that doesn't just promise to clean your air, but remove the dust from it as well. But how well does it actually remove the dust from your air and is it worth the 319 US dollars starting price? I'll walk you through my thoughts on those questions after using a dust magnet for over six months and if I think it's worth getting or not. Now I like, I'm sure many of you hate dust. Maybe hate's a strong word. You know, you know what, screw it, I hate dust. And with the black furniture in my bedroom that's more prone to showing it, plus my bedroom is carpeted, I end up seeing a lot of dust on my furniture causing me to need to dust about every one to two weeks. So at the time I bought my dust magnet, I was willing to try about anything that promised to reduce the amount of dusting I needed to do. And after using my dust magnet for over six months, I now find that I need to dust about every two to three weeks, which I've been surprised by because I half expected this thing to do like absolutely nothing. Blue Air claims the dust magnet pushes this invisible like vortex around your room that traps airborne dust and slowly sucks it into the machine, which seems too good to be true. But when I open the filter hatch, which comes out in a similar way to a printer tray, when I pull that out and look at the positively charged pre-filters and clean those, you can see that they have quite a bit of dust on them after just two weeks of use, which is pretty impressive. And if you shine a hard light at the machine, you can actually see it sucking in dust in real time. Here's a shot in slow motion to illustrate this more. So Blue Air's claims aren't bull this thing does actually pull a good amount of dust out of the air. Now, as I've used the dust magnet, I've come to realize that there are a couple of things that you'll want to keep in mind that can affect its performance. And the largest one of those is actually where you place the dust magnet. It needs to be at least five inches away from a wall. And I found where I put mine near my desk, the furniture on that side of the room will have less dust on it. But on the opposite side of my room where my nightstand is, I'll get more dust accumulation there. Also, one thing to be aware of when you look at Blue Air's site and see the claim that this device will remove 99% of dust before it settles, just keep in mind that this only applies to small dust particles and if you have the fan speed on high for more than 20 minutes, which is not a setting you're likely going to have on all of the time. I typically only turn on the high speed when I'm cleaning or vacuuming when I know more dust may be put into the air than normal. Because the dust magnet will perform its best when it's it's left out in the open, Blue Air designed it in a way where it has a dual purpose as an air purifier, but also as a side table. Up at the top of the unit, there's a place to put something that you'd put on a small side table, like a Kindle, magazines, your glasses, etc. Now, depending on your interior decor and overall style, this may not work for you as an actual side table, but for me, after six months, in my room, it's been fine. Next, let's talk about filters. The two main filters on the unit can be accessed by pulling out the filter hatches on the top and bottom of the unit. The main filters are rated for a life of six to 12 months, depending on your indoor air quality and use. Blue Air also makes it pretty easy to replace filters by offering filter subscriptions at a discount on their website. I've subscribed to a few filter subscriptions, so they'll show up at my door right around the time I'll need to replace them. And at the six month mark, mine had about 42% life left, and you can check your filter life status in the Blue Air app. You'll use the Blue Air app to do things like connect your dust magnet to Wi-Fi and monitor current indoor and outdoor air quality. And you can scroll through to see your recent air quality history as well. The app also lets you control your air purifier remotely as well as provide a scheduling feature, which for me after six months has been hands down my favorite feature of having a Wi-Fi connected air purifier. I can schedule the dust magnet to turn on night mode at night, which turns the air purifier into a low setting and turns off all of its LEDs on the unit. Then I have another schedule that puts the dust magnet into auto mode in the morning once I'm up. Auto mode on the dust magnet uses the air particle sensors located at the back of the unit to measure the air quality and ramp up and down the air purifier's fan based on current air quality. So for example, when I cook meat or use cooking oil, the fan will automatically kick into high gear as the dust magnet senses the air quality has deteriorated and it'll change the LED status light 
to reflect that deteriorated air quality. Now, auto mode is something other Blue Air models have, like my 411 Auto, which I've loved and we've done a review of, which I'll link down below. But the Wi-Fi connectivity paired with the scheduling features fixed the main downside I had with that air purifier, where you constantly had to manually enable night mode. You can also connect the Blue Air Dust Magnet to Amazon Smart Assistant through the Alexa Skills feature in the Alexa app. Unfortunately, there currently isn't a great way to connect the Dust Magnet to the Google Assistant or Apple's HomeKit. For Amazon, once connected, you'll be able to use Amazon's Assistant to turn your purifier on and off, set a specific fan speed, turn on and off auto mode, night mode, and more. Also, if you ask Amazon's Assistant to turn on auto mode, for example, it may not know what device you're actually referring to, but the cool thing is, Amazon's Assistant will actually ask you to clarify what device you're actually talking about. So when I said bedroom air purifier, it now remembers to turn on auto mode for that device when I just say turn on auto mode, which is really cool that it remembers what device I'm talking about. So now let's talk about downsides. Now there are two main downsides I found with the dust magnet, the first one being cord management. I really wish Blue Air had figured out a way to allow you to wind up the extra cord slack underneath the unit. The second downside I found with the dust magnet is sometimes the scheduling feature can be a bit inconsistent. Sometimes the device would be in the wrong mode at the wrong scheduled time. Now I think part of this might just have been a software bug. I noticed this issue early on during our testing period Period, but I haven't noticed it in the past two or three months. So those are all of the things I like and dislike about the Blue Air Dust Magnet after six months of use. I think this product is ideal for people already looking for an air purifier that want the added benefit of being able to remove fine dust particles from your air as well. Plus having an air purifier that can connect to Wi-Fi. The dust magnet doesn't come cheap and starts at 319 US dollars for the 5210i model for smaller space and 399 US dollars for the larger model. But if you want the Heather Gray model look like I have, for smaller spaces, that version starts at 359 US dollars and 459 US dollars for the larger model. And if you're interested in purchasing a dust magnet, we've included purchase links in this video and in the description below. Just keep in mind that you are still going to have to dust surfaces, just maybe not as frequently as you do today, and larger particles of dust will still accumulate on those surfaces because their weight typically drags them out of the air onto a surface faster than the air currents in your room can propel them over to the dust magnet. Now you can certainly get an air purifier for a cheaper price than what the dust magnet sells for. Blue Air also sells air purifiers cheaper than the dust magnet like the 411 Auto we also did a review on. I think the dust magnet is more of a luxury air purifier. However, if the dust removal functionality is something that interests you, I think you will be happy that you got an air purifier with that functionality. And for me, that functionality has made the device worth the purchase. Now, if you have any further questions about the dust magnet, make sure you leave them in a comment below and we'll answer them there. And while you're down there, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and found it helpful. That really helps out the channel and subscribe to the channel to see more reviews of tech and home products. And if you're looking for what to watch next, check out some of our other reviews of air purifiers like our review of the Blue Air 411 Auto and our overview video of the Coair Air Mega 250. And you can get to those videos by clicking on the links in the description or clicking on the playlist to the right. For six months later, I'm Josh Tedder. Thanks for watching.